Welcome back to our videos on fermentation. This is Kevin Tokoff at Catalyst University. All right, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. All right, so what is the concept of fermentation? We have lots of fermentation pathways. Ethanol fermentation is one of them. And what's the function of it? Well, we have this concept of aerobic versus anaerobic metabolism. Aerobic metabolism utilizes oxygen if it's present, and aerobic metabolism is known to be a lot more efficient than anaerobic metabolism. Because when we have anaerobic metabolism, for production of ATP, we in general have to rely on only glycolysis. And glycolysis produces a measly 2 ATP per glucose. Whereas if we use the electron transport chain, which is aerobic in the presence of oxygen, we generate a lot more ATP. Usually most counts will account for about 34 to 36 ATP, which is astronomically higher than, gl than glycolysis if we're under anaerobic conditions. But if we are under anaerobic conditions, one thing that we talked about in another video is that the electron transport chain, which is under anaerobic conditions, not used, meaning the electron transport chain is only used under aerobic conditions. One of the enzymes that's involved in the electron transport chain, it's actually called complex one or NADH dehydrogenase, it actually uses NADH and takes the electrons from it and regenerates NAD. So whenever you have aerobic metabolism, you can really easily regenerate NAD, very easily. Um, in fact, NAD is regenerated by this enzyme, and then that NAD is ultimately reused by glycolysis. Okay. However, if, it's, if you're under anaerobic conditions, that enzyme in the respiratory chain does not function, meaning it can't regenerate NAD because it doesn't work. Basically, the concept is if there's no oxygen, the entire electron transport chain does not work. So if you have NADH floating around, it can't be used by the electron transport chain, which means you're stuck with NADH. It cannot be converted back to NAD. Glycolysis, this first pathway shown right here, is absolutely dependent on NAD. To run glycolysis, you have to have NAD. And if you're under anaerobic conditions, Glycolysis is the only pathway that you're really doing. And so, if glycolysis is the only pathway, well, glycolysis better be working. So if you can't regenerate NAD through the electron transport chain, you have to have some other way to regenerate NAD. Okay? Fermentation's function, in any case, is to regenerate NAD for the continuation of glycolysis. So we have this concept of glycolysis that glucose gets converted to pyruvate, okay, or pyruvic acid. In the process, we take two NADs and get two NADHs. Now, like I said, if your electron transport chain is not functioning because there's no oxygen available, which it's dependent on oxygen, then you can't get that NAD back. So you need a way to generate NAD. In other words, you need a way to waste this NADH. We're going to look at how that is done. It turns out that pyruvate, under anaerobic conditions, can react with an enzyme shown in green called pyruvate decarboxylase. This enzyme is going to remove this carboxyl group down here at the bottom, and you're actually going to generate a molecule called acetaldehyde. It turns out that acetaldehyde can then react with alcohol dehydrogenase. And notice here how the acetaldehyde reacts with NADH, and not only do you get ethanol as sort of a byproduct, but you end up regenerating your NAD. So in ethanol fermentation, alcohol dehydrogenase is specifically the enzyme that regenerates the NAD. Then this NAD right here can come back over to glycolysis and recontinue glycolysis. Again, the reason that fermentation is so critical for organisms under more anaerobic conditions is that if they're under anaerobic conditions, the Krebs cycle and the electron transport chain don't work. So number one, you don't get a lot of ATP. You can't regenerate NAD through complex one of the mitochondria, so you have to have a way to regenerate NAD to continue glycolysis. This pathway is how you do it. You decarboxylate pyruvate to acetaldehyde, and then you reduce the acetaldehyde to ethanol by wasting the NADH, and getting back the NAD, which then comes back over to glycolysis, and you can continue glycolysis. Now, you don't get much ATP from glycolysis, 2 compared to like 34 under aerobic conditions, but that 2 can mean the difference between life and death. 
So you, if you're a yeast cell that does ethanol fermentation, well then you'd better be regenerating NAD through this process. Okay? If you did something where you knocked out the enzyme alcohol dehydrogenase, that cell would die. Okay, so this is absolutely critical. And in the next video where we cover lactate fermentation, which is done in mammals, um, it's the same concept, different enzymes. You have to regenerate NAD, and if you knocked out lactate dehydrogenase, then that organism would die under anaerobic conditions. Okay, so hopefully this makes sense. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you.